What is up, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and those who do not wish to identify as any gender whatsoever, welcome to this class here today called the number one ingredient 99% of entrepreneurs need more of. And that's not just a random number, 99%. I mean 99% of entrepreneurs. In fact, it could be even 99.9%. I could probably even up that number a bit. They need more of this one ingredient. Any guesses? Not sure what it is? Check it out. Here it is. And by the way, without this ingredient, you're screwed. Without this ingredient, you're screwed. Without this ingredient, nothing gets done. Money does not get made and uh, things start to fall apart very quickly. When I've got lots of this ingredient going on, business is just booming. And when I start to lack this ingredient, everything starts to fall apart. It's just like, it's guaranteed. It's guaranteed. So here it is. It's, let me move this white box. Can't move this white box. There we go. Uh, here we go. Okay, here we go. It's focus. It's focus. Look, nothing gets done without focus. I did not create this presentation here by being distracted and swiping around. Like I focus on getting this done so it got done and that's how everything gets done you've got to focus on it and if you're doing too many different things it's like it, it's like a, when you've got a business and you're doing too many different things it's like raising a child whilst you're doing too many different things you're not going to be the best parent the best parents put focus on their children even like a newborn child like you got to put all your focus on that child and a, and a startup company an online business if you're just starting it out it needs all your focus nothing gets done without your focus like things need to constantly be like updated and tweaked and adjusted it's just like your house you don't just buy a house and then no don't do anything your house would get nasty there's constant maintenance like if you chop some vegetables up you got to clean up those chopped up vegetables you can't just leave them there if you go a week you got to dust the floor you can't just leave the dust in a you can't, you can't just leave dust in the floor. It's nasty. Your plants, if you got plants in the house, you got to water them. You can't just let them die. You, if you got a balcony, I got a balcony out here. There's a bees nest that just formed. I got to move that bees nest. Like things are always coming up. I can't just let the wasps hang out there and sting me all summer long. Got to move that nest, right? So there's like, I have to focus on it. I need to put some TLC into the business all the time. And this video, I'm going to show you why distraction is so hard to get good at and how to get good at it. Because if you're good at focus, you'll crush it. Like the best entrepreneurs are the most focused. The entrepreneurs who make the most money are the most focused. The entrepreneurs who have the most fun are the most focused. The entrepreneurs who don't make that much money, don't have that much fun, their focus is like all over the place. It's completely scattered. So scattered attention is the enemy here. Focused attention is the remedy. All right, so if you're, if you're not quite making as much progress as you want to make, you're not making as much money as you want to make, you're not making as many sales as you want to make, and you just find yourself being pretty inconsistent with getting things done, this class today is really, really going to help you out. So first things first, whatever you focus on, you get more of. This is just a law of attraction, one-on-one. -on -one. And so by having a clear-cut goal in your business, by focusing on that clear-cut goal, you're going to attract in your life so much faster. But the reality is, Life, it can be, keyword can, it can be so distracting that sometimes it's easy to forget our big goals in life. Like I've had this happen to me. I forget what the goal was in the first place. And so if it's hard enough to forget the, if it's easy enough to forget the big goals, imagine the little tiny to-do list. Like, oh, I forgot to email that person. I forgot to call that person. Of course you do. You got distracted, right? So I'm going to give you the remedy for that here in this class. But just so you know, you're not alone. You're not dumb. You're not an idiot. You're not bad at being an entrepreneur if you, if you, if you can't focus. Uh, just know that focus is a skill that can be developed. It's a skill that can be developed. There's one thing I want you to take away from this class today. It's that focus is a skill that can be developed. You're not fixed. You're not like you're just a, a naturally more focused person. It can be developed. All right. So let's dive into how. So first is understanding focus. Like what is focus? Well, what is it not? The opposite of it is distraction, right? And what is distraction? Well, if you break it up in two words, it's distraction, meaning things aren't tracking properly. So distraction is a problem. Like by very definition, it's a problem. You're not tracking. You're not on track. You're off track. And that's not good. You want, Where do you want the train to be? Would you rather be on the train track when you're when you're on the train? Do you want to be on the train track or do you want to be off the tracks? No. You go off the tracks, you're freaking going off in the deep end. It's dangerous territory being, being distracted. And again, we're going to talk about a bunch of different ways of getting distracted later and how to overcome those. But just know that distraction is actually very dangerous. Whereas traction... It's, you, you, you've got traction. You're moving closer towards your goals. Again, do you want to have tires that don't have much traction? 
when it's wet or when it's snowing out? No, you want massive traction, you want lots of traction. When you're going trail running through the forest, do you want shoes without any traction? They're really slippery. No, you want shoes with traction. I went for a run yesterday with my friend. I gave him an old pair of my shoes and he put them on and he slid them across the floor. And he's like, wow, dude, these have no traction. And I laughed out loud because thinking how you know, dangerous that might be going into that forest back there with no traction on the shoes. But if you have traction, you can lock in and you can move closer towards your goal. So here's how to effortlessly focus, all right? It's to get enough sleep and do something you love. That is the, the funny equation to it. You're like, why, what does sleep have to do with it? Well, try to go any length of time, any, try to go more than a day without sleep and then try and focus. Even if it's something you love, you'll have a very hard time doing it. And I remember when I first fell madly in love with this woman, girl, woman, whatever word you want to use to describe her. I think she was 28. When I first fell in love, I was staying up all night talking to this girl. Let's just say chick. We still talk to this day, so we're on good terms. But I would stay up late talking to this girl. I wouldn't sleep much. I would get maybe like two, three hours of sleep each night because I was just so infatuated with this with this woman. Uh, and uh, the next day, I couldn't focus on much at all. Even her, like I couldn't even I couldn't even be super focused on her. It was hard. It was getting harder and harder as the days went on. So even though I loved her to death and I would have taken a bullet for her, I could hardly focus on her because I was just so tired. So sleep is by far the number one thing you can do to get more focus. It's not eating more food. It's sleeping more, getting plenty of sleep, plenty of rest. Sure, get enough nutrients, but it's not like if you're lacking focus, you need to just eat more carbs or something. It doesn't work that way. In fact, today I haven't eaten anything and it's 2.44. It's almost 3 p.m. I've had no food whatsoever and I've been super productive. No caffeine, no coffee, no tea, no kombucha, no stimulants at all. Literally just water and somewhere else I got some sunshine. Water and sunshine and here I am getting stuff done. So you don't need to take anything in. You just need to sleep. I had a great sleep last night. I need to do something you love. I love teaching this stuff. It's so fun. Okay? Now, here are some ways that distractions... They seem innocent enough and they, they wake they make their way in like weeds. Distractions are like weeds. They're gonna they're gonna uh, they're gonna keep making their way in. And you gotta keep trimming, you gotta keep cutting them, gotta keep cutting them down, cutting them down, cutting them down. Otherwise they're gonna take over your whole life. The next thing you know, you're gonna be in one big mess and you're gonna be so desperate for help, you're gonna do uh, something that you might regret. Let's just say that. So number one, checking the phone. What's the harm in checking the phone? I'm just checking the phone. I heard a ding, I should check the phone. Well, next thing you know, you're opening this app and opening that app and opening this app and opening this app and checking that notification and checking this, see if that person read your message, see if that person opened your message, see if that person responded. Checking, checking, incessant checking of the phone, deadly. I recently did a five-day dopamine fast without my phone at all. And I was feeling so good on that dopamine fast. And I remember writing down why, I was like questioning myself, why do I feel so good? And I, and I just remember writing down, reading my notes afterwards. And I wrote down, I feel really good because I don't, I'm not getting pinged. I'm not getting hit in the head with incoming texts all the time. There's not like this incessant in, in, uh, onslaught of in, new information coming in. So checking the phone, deadly. It's actually deadly, incessantly checking. My phone right now, as we speak, it's locked up in a lockbox. In fact, here's a lockbox right here. This is an example of one. Uh, this timer is for something else. Still got uh, 10 hours and 17 minutes left until this one unlocks. But my phone is over there in another lockbox and it's got maybe like another 15 minutes on it before it opens up because I got to take a call in 15 minutes. So checking the phone is deadly. So I lock my phone up and I get it away so I can actually work. Otherwise, I'm screwed. I'm just like you. I'm just like, I'm just like everyone. I'm tempted to check it, tempted to check it. So same thing goes for checking tabs for updates. In fact, having Facebook right here open is dumb. Close that down. Like you don't want to have tabs open where you can go and check for updates. Uh, in fact, I paid... I paid like $800 to get a custom plugin built for me so that, see on the top left here, there's no red dots. It doesn't tell me if there's a message or a notification or a friend request or anything. I've blocked all that. I paid extra to block that. I paid $800 for a custom plugin just to block that because I know if I see a red dot, what am I going to do? I'm going to click it. And I use Facebook often for working with, with working with our customers, working with their clients, working with our students. I don't want to get distracted being on Facebook. So I paid just to block that out. That's how important that is for me. Next is uh, calling people just to talk about life. <clears throat> Nothing wrong with that, right? I'm just call on a, speak with a loved one, speak with a friend, talk about life. More often than not, unless it's a scheduled call with that person, which you can do, by the way, you can schedule in these calls. 
But if you just do it on a whim, oh, just what the heck, just give them a call. More often than not, that can be considered a distraction. Put it in the, in the distraction bucket. Schedule in a call if you really want to call somebody. Uh, Elon Musk doesn't do phone calls. Elon Musk, he refuses to get on calls with people because he knows they just go on and on and on. And Elon Musk schedules his day in five-minute increments. So every five minutes counts. So you don't have to get on a long call with anyone, just shoot the shit. And Elon Musk, man, he's founder of SpaceX, and Tesla, and helped uh, build PayPal. Dude gets shit done, and he cannot spend time talking to people on the phone about random stuff. Neither can you if you want to grow a successful business. Next is watching random videos on the toilet. The biggest the biggest place I get ideas, really good ideas, not the biggest place, but the, the most consistent place I get really good ideas. Some people get in the shower. I don't. I get my ideas on the toilet unless I'm watching random videos. If I'm watching random videos on the toilet, I'm wasting my time on the toilet because that toilet time is like me connecting with source energy, me connecting with God, me connecting with my higher self, getting the best ideas ever. Whether I'm peeing or pooping, when I'm on the toilet, I get the best ideas if I just don't have my phone in there. So I have a rule, there's no phone in the toilet, no phone in the bathroom. I try to walk in there, I put the phone on the counter before I walk in. So just a distraction, no point. Scrolling on Instagram, arguably one of the dumbest things you can do. Like the only way you could justify scrolling on Instagram is if you're looking, no, even if you're looking for an ad, you can't justify it. Because if you want to find that ad, you can just go to the Facebook library and Facebook ads library and find it there. There's no reason to scroll on Instagram, uh, maybe to get a feel for how your ad looks or something on Instagram, but no, you really, there's no excuse. Just, you do not need to scroll on Instagram ever, 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 ever. Um, go partying with friends. Like how hard could that, how innocent is that, right? Just going to go party with some friends. Again, if it's, if, if it's just like a spur of the moment thing, hey, come party, definitely a distraction. If it's something planned out in advance, like you got a wedding coming up next month or whatever, or it's Christmas, you can go party with friends and family member for Christmas. Okay, it's different. But more often than not, random parties with friends, spur of the moment, cancel them, don't go, don't go. Uh, here's how to overcome the issue of all these oncoming distractions. Number one, lock the phone away. As I mentioned, get a lockbox. Uh, number two, no friends on weekdays. See your friends on the weekends, not the weekdays. Monday to Friday, no friends. Just focus, focus on your work. Third is don't eat food first thing in the morning. Use that time to wake up and work. Me personally, I'm so much more productive if I just work and then I eat when I'm done the work. Uh, I find if I wake up in the morning and I read, I can read really focused for like an hour, no problem. But if I wake up and I read for like half hour and then I have like a bite of fruit or something like a banana, my focus is instantly gone. I'm now way off in, in distraction land. So no food in the morning keeps me super focused. Working from a list. Like the reason I'm able to stay focused on this video I have a list. Imagine if I didn't have a list. I was just making shit up as I went along. I'd be off on crazy tangents. Just like in life, you go off on random tangents physically if you don't, again, physically work from a list. So have a list and, and work from that list. Write out what you got to do and then do it. Um, hire an Insta have, hire a virtual assistant for Instagram. There's no way, There's no reason you should be on Instagram yourself. You can hire uh, a virtual assistant for like 300 bucks a month. They can do your posting for you. They can do your DMs for you. You do not need to be on Instagram. If, if I if I only go on Instagram if I'm going to make a, a story post or if I'm going to go live to do like an interview or something. But otherwise, I don't need to go on Instagram. I have no reason for it. Uh, no phone on the toilet. Mention that. No Tinder and Bumble. This is the ultimate brain destroyer. The ultimate brain destroyer is going on Tinder and Bumble because it's just instant gratification, instant gratification, instant gratification. Because it's like it it it, it, it provides instant gratification, but it, at the same time, it's there's like. You don't know if you're going to get someone really beautiful or not. And even if you do get someone really beautiful, you don't know if you're going to match them or not. And the matches come so infrequently, at least for guys, that when you finally do get one, like your brain just explodes with dopamine. It just it just ruins your freaking life. Like you can't do much else if you're on Tinder Bumble. My friend actually made me a deal. He was so addicted to this. They made me a deal. He said, tell me $10,000 if I reinstall Tinder and Bumble again. So it's going to cost him ten grand to get that app back. Because we shook on it, so depends how you know. He knows that he knows he knows the, the the risk involved with getting the app. So deadly. Do not do not recommend it. Um, and if you want to find another way of getting relationships, just go in public and meet people. Like at the, I guess some people can't go to the gym right now. Uh, best place to go is just go out for walks in nature and talk to everyone you talk to everyone you see. That's the that's the new Tinder mobile. Just talk to everybody you see and and aim for less instant gratification tasks. It's like aim for do tasks that provide long-term gratification, long-term fulfillment. Like this video I'm making right now, it's going to be up for years. I'm going to think about it maybe tomorrow. Anytime someone asks me about it, about how to focus, I'll send in this video. This video provides long-term satisfaction, not instant. Uh, and be just be aware of and resist urges. Like temp temptations come up. Like, like I have the Facebook tab open right here. And if I see it, I'm going to want to click and see if anyone commented on my latest post or whatever. You got to just, first off, be aware that that urge is there. 
and then resist it. And this helps if you're doing meditation. So by meditating a lot, you all you're doing is training your mind to be aware of these urges and temptations and then coming back to your breath, if that's what you're focusing on. Meditation is the key habit to developing really good focus. If you want to practice focusing, practice meditation. If you're really good at meditating, you're going to be really good at focusing. And then lastly, my favorite one actually is just identify as a focused person. If you say, I am a focused person, and you start to believe that, you're going to be a more focused person. It's just how it works. But most people, they say, oh, I'm so distracted. I'm so bad at focus. And they have like this narrative going on in their head that's like preventing them from being focused. How could you possibly become focused if you keep saying you're not focused, if you're distracted all the time? Identify as a focused person. Me personally, I was a distracted person, but now I'm a focused person. Why? Because I do all these things. How could I not be focused by doing these things? It's like Im practically impossible unless I, ha unless I have like crazy like, mental disorder or something. Um, but this last method is going to be very, very practical, very, very cool tip here, uh, just to plan tomorrow today. So step one is write out a list every night before bed. Write a list of everything that you need and want to do the following day. Write it out on paper and have this notebook, bring this notebook into your bedroom every night. And then when you wake up in the morning, grab that notebook, walk outside of your room, open it up and do what's on the list. This method is, I could do a whole video on it, but it's, it's that simple. You really just need to do that. Say what you're going to do and then do it. Done. Just like when you're writing an essay, in an essay, you, you, in the first paragraph, it's like you, you write about what you're going to write about, and the next supporting paragraphs, you write about that. And then in the conclusion paragraph, you write about what you just wrote about, wrap it up. So at the end of the day, too, if you want to add on an extra step, at the, end of the, at the end of the day, I like to do this, I like to review how I did. Some days are a disgrace, I completely messed it all up, whereas most days, like 99% of the time, I'm like, ah, fuck yeah, that was nice, check, 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 feels really good. And then if you ever get distracted, just go back to the list. Distractions are going to come up. If you're wondering what to do next, go back, look at your list. Focusmate.com can also really, really help. Highly recommend that. Um, and then what this usually looks like for me, if I'm showing you a semi-typical day in the life, it's going to be step one, I work out, wake up and work out, and I meditate, and then I eat some fruit, and I do some client work, and I do some coursework to start developing our course more uh, or start getting started on some work to improve the course, to improve our program. I eat dinner around maybe... 4 or 5 p.m. I plan tomorrow today and I get some sleep. And that's that. So that's that. I uh, hope this video was super helpful. And if you need help focusing, if you need help building a online business for yourself, you can head over to coursecreatorcall.com and you can fill an application. You and I can get on a quick call and we can uh, discuss like uh whether or not working together makes sense and what you can do today to get started making more progress with your vegan business. So coursecreatorcall.com, it'll redirect you to this link right here and then you can fill out this quick survey and then we can get on a call. So that's that. Look forward to speaking with you in the future perhaps, but either way, I really, really, really hope this video was super helpful. That's it. Peace, peace. Ciao for now. Much love.